In this video, I'm going to be doing a couple more examples of finding the average value of a function. So let's get started. In this first example, uh, we have a function inside of a function. So I'm thinking we're going to have to use u substitution to integrate this. So I always like to start with our formula. f of x bar would be the average value of 1 over b minus a times the integral from a to b of f of x dx. So setting up this particular integral with what we know, we know that a and b are 3 and 6, so that would be 1 over 3 times the integral from 3 to 6. And then our function is 6x times 4x minus 8 cubed dx. So as I just said a moment ago, this is going to involve u substitution, or u sub for short, where I'm going to let u be the inside function, which is this. So u is equal to 4x minus 8. Then we take the derivative of that, the derivative of u uh, with respect to x, which is simply 4. And then we solve that for dx, which would then be du divided by 4. Substituting all of that back into my problem, I have 1 third the integral from 3 to 6 of 6x u cubed and then du over 4. Now the 6 and the 4 can be removed. And, but we still have this extra x. So this is one of those problems that we learned when we were doing u substitution, where we have to do a little bit of extra work. And so what we're going to need to do is we need to go over to our definition of u and solve that for x. So we have 4x minus 8 is equal to u, or 4x is equal to u plus 8, or x is equal to 1 fourth u plus 2. And so we're going to have to substitute that in for x. So the 6 and the 4 can come out. That reduces to 3 halves times 1 third gives me 1 half. So we're going to have f of x bar is equal to 1 half, the integral from 3 to 6. We're now going to replace x with 1 fourth u plus 2 times u cubed du. All right, now we can multiply these together. We're going to take um, 1 fourth u plus 2 and multiply it by u cubed. And that will give us one fourth u to the fourth plus two u cubed du. Now we can actually do the integrating. And so this will become one half. And so we're going to have one fourth times one fifth u to the fifth plus two times one fourth u to the fourth from three to six. That then you're going to get one twentieth times the one half is one fortieth uh, u to the fifth. And then 2 over 4 here is 1 half times 1 half is 1 fourth u to the fourth. And one last thing that we need to do now is we need to change these back into x's. We need to change these back into x's. So that will look like this. We're going to have 1 40th times 4x minus 8 to the fifth plus 1 fourth 
4x minus 8 to the fourth evaluated from 3 to 6. And of course, you're just going to go and do that as always in decimos. And you'll end up with something that looks like 42,508. So just to check, make sure that you do this problem and that you get that answer and you're doing everything correctly. 42,508.8. Okay, so that was a long problem. The next one is a little bit shorter. Uh, once again, um, we want to find the average value of this function. 1 over b minus a would be 1 over 4 times the integral from 3 to 7 of 7x to the 5 halves plus 3 dx. So no use substitution on this, just straightforward use of the power rule. 1 fourth, then we're going to have the 7 times 5 halves, we're going to add 1 to that. So 5 halves plus 1 is 5 halves plus 2 halves, which is 7 halves. So we're going to uh, raise it to the 7 halves power and divide by 7 halves or multiply by the reciprocal to sevenths. And then 3x. And that is being evaluated from 3 to 7. Let's clean that up a little bit. These sevens appear to cancel out. So we have a 2 times the 1 fourth would be 1 half x to the 7 halves plus 3 divided by 4 x evaluated from 3 to 7 and when you do that in decimos you're going to get something approximately 433.36 all right hope this video was helpful